this particular tips and tricks video for Phidias Max, I want to talk about the object snaps. So every Max user does know how to activate the move transform. So I'm just going to select the object, going to do right click and activate move. And then we have several options how we would like to move this object, right? So in this particular scenario, the X is highlighted because it's yellow. So if I select the X uh, key, arrow key, I'm able to move in the X direction. Similar for the Y, the, the Z axis, uh, the three planes. So we have the, um, the X, Y plane, we have the ZX plane, we have the uh, YZ plane, and the uh, square icon is just the X, Y, Z move in all directions. So when I start using snaps, I can use the S shortcut key, or I can activate the snaps in the main toolbar located down here. So I'm activating this, I'm gonna go to the settings, so I'm just right clicking. So this will open up the grid and snap settings dialog, where I'm able to set which object snaps I would like to use. So in this particular example, I don't need grid points, I'm just gonna switch them off. I'm gonna activate the endpoint object snap. So what's happening now, if I still hover over the ax, all the, the axes are highlighted, so it will move in all directions. And this is not particular what I want. So to um, change the default values, uh, what you need to do is just go into the options tab of the snaps. And in the translation section of the dialog, enable the access constraints. This is not switched on by default. I don't know why. It would make sense, in my humble opinion, to activate it by default. So when I now hover over the axe, only the axe is highlighted. So then I'm able to start snapping to a different object. So if I can, I can hover over to the endpoint, or if I want, I can select this endpoint, um, hold the left mouse button, obviously, and then I'm snapping to this point. Um, this is also working with um, with sub objects. So if I convert this um, object into an editable poly. Uh, convert to editable poly. I'm going into vertex sub-object mode. Uh, we can do that by pressing the uh, number one key on your keyboard or just activating the vertex. Uh, I'm selecting the um, the uh, particular particular vertex, um, and then I'm still able to uh, start moving in the Z direction. Uh, while I'm selecting uh, different points on another object. So it works in this um, uh, option uh, as well. So in general, in the snaps, uh, activate the enable access constraints. That will help you a lot. <laughs>